Hey guys, welcome back! My name is KB, if you didn't know. And last time we got to Fuchsia City, but we do have just a little bit of more Pokemon battles over here that I would like to go ahead and get out of the way simply because it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> and if I wanted to, I could get a new encounter, but I just don't think that there's anything that I really could get right now. So at this time, I really think I'm not going to be actively seeking out encounters, if that makes sense. I always check every grassy area for new Pokemon. Wow. <laughs> what was I just talking about? That's funny. Spiro. That is actually, after all of those coughing and muck and everything else, a Spiro is not terrifying, to be honest. Except for the first suit, I definitely need to keep that in mind. But that's not a problem for Drogon now! Look at him! He's not so squishy no more. He can actually, like, take a hit. <laughs> like, he... Attack-wise, he was never, like, necessarily bad. And then a Thunder Wave. But it just it could not take damage, like, at all. Not that it's, not that his defense is greatly improved, but it is a little bit better than it was, so. That's always a bonus. I guess I can show ya if I just talk about it, right? See? So now his defenses are just a little bit higher. That's exciting. But yeah. It is nice to not have to be constantly terrified. Let's go with another dragon right, right I suppose. Guaranteed 40, and why not? <laughs> what is that sound like? <laughs> I wish I had a bike. Uh, this is my turf. Get out of here. There's two other people there. <laughs> Are y'all like identical twins? Triplets. Must be. Y'all have identical Pokemans. <laughs> that always drove me crazy. Like, why? How hard is it? Pokemon. I would even even understand if you were just like Pokemon. Or, like Pokemon. Like Pokemans. Urgh. Let's see how quick or er, slam does. Not bad. That's okay. The only downside to slam is accuracy. It's just like, why? Why is it so bad? You know what I mean? Way to really drive from that point there. Fury attack. Ugh, could you not please? Of course you're gonna hit five times. Thank you very much. I really love that. That is so amazing. We are actually, because like, if we do that again, and it's five times, it might not be good. So we're gonna heal. I know, I've been using Haley I'm like crazy lately. I don't think it's been excessive though, at least not in battle. How many have I used like in battle? Like maybe one or two at most. So, I don't feel bad for it. We're gonna try slaying. Actually, the sheep, they, he, just use growl, so let's just go with Dragon Rage. Not as well. Golden Rage. I really like the move twister. I wish it was stronger. I feel like it's not too bad in this generation. Like in, I feel like in future generations, I don't know if they like changed the power of it. I'm assuming they did. They did a lot of power changing. Are you kidding me right now? Like two, five hits? Really? Anyway, so yeah. Like I really like this generation at least. Probably sucks either way, but it feels like it's better. Alright, so good hit me to slam. I think slam's accuracy is like 85 or is it like 55? I feel like it's really bad. Not the best move. Darn! I'm sorry. Alright, we are gonna switch though for Pixie, because Drogon is 
finally caught up to the rest of them. How do you like my bird call? How do you like my bird call? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for the way that I am. Oh my gosh, Adodrio. That's kind of terrifying. Uh, okay, we're gonna hit it with Confuse Ray. And then we'll hit it with the Attract. And then with the Wings, hopefully. Hopefully that will go how I wanted to. Please hit yourself in fusion. I would greatly appreciate it. Of course you're not going to. Of course you're going to hit with right that. And of course you're going to do probably a lot of damage, aren't you? Oh my gosh, that's way too much damage. Okay. Look at all that damage. It's quite a lot of damage. Ugh. Gosh. So we're not going to do anything that is. We're going to switch out. For bro. Because I just cannot with the try attack. And of course you're gonna have my confusion. Oh, that's really good that it did not hit with pursuit. I need to be, I guess, a little bit more weary of switching out, I guess, then with all these Pokemon that now suddenly have pursuit. They're all pursuiting me. Pursuiting me. <laughs> oh my gosh though. Random level 34, you know, final evolution Pokemon. I had to bug you, yeah. You had to just bug me, didn't you? I collect sea Pokemon on weekends because the sea's so close. That's quite random. I'm actually surprised they didn't like throw in a sea Pokemon there just to kind of like make you be like, what the heck? And then he had like an explanation. I feel like that would have been a better thing to do at Game Freak. I don't really feel like going back up Cycling Road because we'll have to literally go back up it. As you saw last time, it makes you all slow. So let's just explore Fuchsia City. It's been so long since I've been to Fuchsia City. <laughs> Bill Files is on Pokemon Day on his PC. Did he show you? Yes, they, they, no, actually, he did not show me. Uh, oh yeah, all his teeth are false. Mm, you met Bill? He's my grandson. He always liked plugging things, even as a child. I can't remember what places give items and which ones do not. I feel you're the moved leader. That is nice to remember. I honestly forgot that that was moved to their house. I did think something was up with these houses, like something important. Uh, we're not going that way <laughs> just yet. Um, let's go this way. So this is the warden's house, and we cannot understand him right now. Cause he's all, he's gumming it today. Nope. <laughs> I have no idea. I am starting to question whether I have gone crazy and there's no article. I need strength. Where do you get strength again? I feel like, I feel like I don't know where it is. <laughs> uh, oh, is this the super guy? The, the super guy, the super, super rod guy. It's a good rod guy. Oh, I think the super rod's actually on what, like rock twelve or whatever. Um, but you could, ah no. Um, yeah. So I can catch a Pokemon here in Fuchsia City. Oh my gosh, could not. I can catch a Pokemon here in Fuchsia City. There, I'm gonna have to do just like a dedicated. Once I get fly, I'll probably just do like a dedicated Pokemon catching video or something, because I know that there are quite a few places now where I can get encounters at that I have not gotten encounters at. So I have always wondered, what is the point of this Eric and Sarah character? Because like, where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here, and then once we go into the Safari Zone, she's all like, where's Eric? But nothing ever comes of it. Ugh, my gosh, Chansey. Okay, so. That item ball in there. Were you wanting that? Me too. Huh? That's a Pokemon? Yeah, it has eyes. What? Um, so with the Safari Zone, how I'm going to do this is I. Okay, so. I don't need anything in here. 
how I'm going to do the Safari Zone is... <gasps> uh, okay, first of all, you're creepy, kid. I was supposed to... I'm gonna keep you in mind, even though you're really weird. I, I wanna be the Kangas Kong baby. Just kick it out of its pouch and pretend to be one. Um, oh god, and... <laughs> This is always creeped me out. Like, look at him! Staring at you with those dead eyes. <laughs> um. I. Okay, wait. So. Does this Pokemon ever change, or is it always a. Like, depending on what fossil you get, or is it always an Omni? Hmm. I feel kind of dumb, so I don't know. Anyway, um. The way I'm going to handle the Safari Zone is I'm going to go, I'm going to take it, like I'm going to pay and I'm going to enter and I am going to just like keep going until I just catch a Pokemon. Like as long as, like, how do I say that to where it like makes a little bit of sense. Okay, so if I can't do anything but throw Pokeballs and once I catch a Pokemon that is my encounter for Safari Zone. If the Pokemon runs away, then I just go encounter another Pokemon. If I run into a dupe, I just run away. You know what I mean? But like, I can't manipulate it by, you know, tossing any bait or by um, throwing rocks at it. So if I do run into something, let's say I run into like a Paris, I can't you know, be like, oh, I'm gonna throw a rock and make it run away, that way I can maybe run into a Taurus. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't manipulate the situation. I hope it makes sense. If not, I guess just watch what I do and just know that I'm doing it. How I've always intended on doing it. <laughs> Hi, is it your first time here at the Spire Zone? Yes, it is. Oh yeah, you can get... You can go into different zones. I honestly don't care, like, what Pokemon I get. Oh my gosh, I am tired of talking to you. Um, I haven't really... I mean, of course it would be nice to get something cool, like a Kangaskhan, but I, I don't have my hopes up. I don't even... Can you get... I don't remember if, like, the Pokemon that you get in the Safari Zone are any different than the Pokemon you get elsewhere. So I will say though that I I'll at least go to like a different zone, you know what I mean? Ah, I won't stick around in the center area. I will say that I am gonna go through the safari zone until I get the. See, okay, so Paris. If I end up catching this Paris, then that will be my encounter for the safari zone. Kind of lame, honestly, probably one of the lamest things I could get here. And of course, that's what I got, but. I guess so yay Paris whatever anyway so yeah I am gonna, I almost hit no to, to not name it but okay I'll name you I'm gonna name you Claw D wait That'd probably honestly be better for like a grabby. But it's gonna be Paris. Alright, well that was so much fun. Okay, uh, I am going to collect some items. And I am going to attempt to get the Warden's Teeth. See, why can't I get like an egg with you? I mean, that's even that's better than a freaking Paris. Maybe I can run into something shiny. <laughs> Ooh, sunny day. Or even just like, even just like a new arena. Literally anything. I would have preferred literally anything. Is that bad? I'm a bad person. Oh, well. Um. So. I got a chance to. Ew. I don't talk to you anymore. Ooh, I'm tired from all the sun. Mm. Mm. Maybe, I mean, I am playing on an emulator. Maybe it just didn't emulate that? I don't know. 
Ugh. It's just rubbing it in, all the things I could have got. I mean, I guess I could have, like, used a repel. Oh, man. I didn't get that item. All I really want is Okay, so mashing the A button, if this happens to catch, I will just release it. Okay, good. It popped out, so it's okay. Why are you leaving me? So yeah, if that happens again, if that ever happened or happens again, and I do happen to catch some of my Pokemon, I'll just release this, the whatever the second Pokemon is, and I will keep... Ooh, Steel Wing! That would be an interesting option for... Cloud. Okay, so nothing interesting here. I'm honestly kind of... I'm trying to remember if there's anything worthwhile in any of those houses. Because, like, I feel like there is, right? But I can never, like... I can't remember. Uh, it would have been kind of nice to get a ride more, I think, maybe. I mean, stuff... I don't know. I think it would have been nice to... I guess I've never really used... I was going to say... Let me finish a single thought, right? I was going to say I think it would be nice... Would have been nice to catch something that I've never used before. But honestly... I don't think I've ever actually used a Paris. Yay, I found one gold teeth. So, at least I can get Surf now. Or, Strength now. Surf, I think, is in here. Oh, God. Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the Seeker House. Although I made a campaign for our grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have one. HMO3. HMO3 is Surf. Pokemon will be able to ferry you across water using it. And this HM isn't disposable, so you can use it over and over. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. Well, thank you, sir. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I'll stop. Okay, so we are now going to... I guess I could teach somebody... Oh, I only have 34 steps left. That's it. That's a bummer. Who do I want to surf? Because I have a couple people that can learn it. Literally. I think... Seafoam's special... Isn't... I'm pretty sure water is special attack based. Mostly it is. Okay, so yeah. Seafoam's special attack is slightly higher than its attack. The Drogon is much better... That is what I'm gonna do, and we have found the move tutor. Move to leader. <laughs> so I can always change it later on if I want to. So we are going to get a slam. Let's get a slam. Dragon and Star. Because it was nice to have that little, um, what is it? The, uh, oh, I can't even surf right now anyway. What am I even doing? Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need Kogas, whatever. Anyway, um, so far, our game is over. I'll go back a little bit later and, uh, well, I guess I can do it now. Can we do it now? Yeah, might as well do it now. Um, What are they saying? I mean, I know that I can't even surf right now, so I'll have to come back eventually. And, uh, so I'm pretty sure there's probably something over there in that house. I know there's items all over the place. I should, probably should have just waited to come back later after I had the gym badge. You know? You know, you know? I guess Claudia kind of fits Parasect as well. I mean, they do have little claw things. 
good stuff. Good stuff. There. Max potion! I like that I'm getting to the point in the game where I can start getting things like the max potion and the full restore. Oh my gosh! Okay, good. Thank you. Not that it matters. Like I said, even if I do accidentally catch something, I will just release it. place where I can still get a bin in at. I don't feel like there is. Uh, what's down here? I feel... We didn't come down here, did we? Or... No. Ugh. <laughs> I wish. If only. But, no. Allowed. <laughs> I'm just gonna run around until I run out of time and then we will come back in the future or I don't know if I'll record it you know what I mean probably will just in case anything happens but um just to get all the stuff after we get Wait, can I even get that item there? I walked off. Let's see. Dang it! I guess I'll never know. So I'm not gonna do it again right now. We'll come back later after I have Koga's gym badge. So that way I can see off. Oh, I never did find Sarah. She's probably, probably one of the houses. But yeah, like, nothing comes of it. I'm pretty sure. Right? I'm pretty sure nothing comes of it. Now who do I want to teach strength to? I am actually quite annoyed that there are so- I don't really like HM moves. Literally the only HM move I even like is fly and even then it's like, could we not? Just because it's like, fly is a good attack, you know, it's, it's not terrible. Same with like surf, like it's not terrible but it's just like, I don't like the idea that it's like, I have to have this move. So, wow, really? Only Seafoam and Burrow? I guess I can get rid of Slash for Strength. I really like that critical hit ratio, though. I guess it hasn't really done me that much good, huh? Ugh. Well, I could get rid of Sand Attack. I, like, never use it. What if it like comes in handy? That's one thing. I'm, I'm horrible at holding on to status moves because I'm always just like, but what if? <laughs> like, but what if you never use it? So, whatever. And also, I don't like having like a bunch of redundant moves. Like, if something already knows a normal type attack, I usually, unless it's like a normal type type attacking attack, I usually don't like having like multiple of those attacks. Which is why like, for example, I don't have fly and wing attack on Pidgeotto. It's just like not our cloud. That's just like not how I like to play, personally. That's just how I am. Uh, okay, so what good would it do to put... Ooh, I wonder if Drogon would be able to work, learn Steel Wing after it evolves. Cause that might actually be a better idea. Because, I'm pretty sure in this generation, the only Pokemon who are weak against steel is rock. And I'm not using um, Cloud against a rock type. Not at all. Oh my god, I really want the experience chair. Which is why I need 20 more Pokemon. But that's why I have that little inkling of... Should I 
but like, oh my god, how much time that would take without the experience share. I don't know. And then of course I'm also thinking, is it even like really worth it? Would it really benefit me? There's so many questions. I honestly think that just about does it for this episode. TBH. I mean, like, we got strength. We got... What did we pick up from the Lord himself? What was that? Is that a rare candy? They had five. Yeah, it was a rare candy. So I six. I like to save these four. Um, what's it called? The Elite Four. Um. Honestly, yeah, that's about it for this episode. Uh, next time we will probably just do some more training, some more battling, just kind of like more exploring kind of thing. Just because I want to get these guys up to closer level, level closer to probably level 35, 36 before taking on Silfco or like before going, yeah, taking on like Silfco and stuff. I want it closer to mid 40 or mid 30 40s range. Um, yeah, I think that'd be best. So, that is it for this episode. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!